Arg mates, good morning and happy talk like a pirate's day. <laughs> uh, Dumak the artist coming at you uh, outside, I know, here in uh, Connecticut, and it's a beautiful, gloomy day outside. It's a beautiful, gloomy day, foggy, humid, <laughs> misty. I'm just uh, wrapping up my little exercise during my working vacation. Uh, I'm currently working on the pages, the first five pages for Foo Point Modic, and I'm on page number five, uh, and, well, I had almost had it completed when my computer decided that it would be a rather thrilling idea to completely corrupt the file. <laughs> completely. That that was like six hours worth of work, um, just gone down the toilet so I have to redo page number five I've had to redo all the pages so far and it's been rather annoying it's frustrating but after this fifth page I'm gonna be working on um, the first five pages of the Akuma Hime reboot um, but that's not necessarily the reason why I, I wanted to make this video um, See if I can keep it away from any of the passers-by. That way I don't have to, like, you know, give them credit for being in my phone. Well, then again, I'm in a public place, so there's no expectation of privacy. But, um, at any rate, well, uh, you know, this whole thing with Kim Davis has really blossomed into a full-scale mess. I mean, we were hoping that this woman would just learn her lesson do her job and fade back into obscurity but apparently uh, she is trying to be nine different kinds of shady still you know and it kind of brought back something to my remembrance from my pre back in my fundy days I know a, a lot of things do that lately but it, it's sort of like this whole idea of you know, not being shady. Now, one of the things that have to be made clear is that Kim Davis's brand of evangelical fundamentalism makes everything into a heaven or hell issue, which includes the length of your hair if you're a woman or a man, the way you dress, everything. She is, um, when, you know, the apostolic religion is a very legalistic, very domineering, controlling religion. Everything is a heaven or hell issue. And we get that. You know, I get that because I've had experiences with people like Kim Davis before. But the fact of the matter is that as much as she may claim to have changed her ways, she was shady before she converted... And she was, and she's even more shady now because, you know, at least now she has to hide her bad behavior. So that means she has to be even more shady in order to do something really messed up to people. You know, I don't necessarily want to judge another person because it's not really my job, but perhaps it'll help some of us understand that, you know, you're dealing with an individual that has absolutely no problem screwing other over people. It's the truth. You know, she messed, she had four divorces. She's, has, she's on her fourth marriage. And she's made a habit out of treating people badly. Now she has the veneer and the cover of religion allowing her to treat people badly because they're of a XYZ minority group that are not very well tolerated where she lives, although it's getting better. And I think the reason I'm mentioning this is that a lot of times when people convert to a religion, they bring all of their excess baggage along with them. I know I did. You know, when I... Um, when I left fundamentalism, I brought with me a ton of baggage. <laughs> I had a crap load of it. But, 
you know, I'm working through it, or at least trying to. In essence, she brought over all of her shadiness and all of her, you know, mean-spirited, sneaky, conniving, trifling ways. And, you know, at the moment, she can't necessarily, you know, cheat on her husband, although I wouldn't be surprised if she was. You know, it's all of that trifling. You bring over everything you are into that faith. If you were a nice person before you converted, you pretty much stay a nice person. If you were a shady, duplicitous individual, unless you have a severe, life-changing moment, um, you're going to bring in all of that shadiness, all of that you know, deceptive nature. You're going to bring over all of that, you know, controlling, manipulating, domineering type thing. Personally, I think she should just be into a, into BDSM and get it over with, but that's nothing, anyway, that's neither here nor there. But the sad part is that innocent people, other people that have nothing to do with her, that have nothing to do with her... Uh, spirituality are being made to suffer because she has to be shady and that's messed up but the thing is do we really you know I've gotten to the point where I don't expect anything different from some people from some groups and the fact that there are still individuals supporting this you know thrice divorced <laughs> duplicitous, trifling woman, you know, just goes to show the level of integrity that's within evangelical circles now. It used to be that if you were uh, any kind of seriously devout or religious person, you had a certain expectation of at least being moral and ethical. Now, not so much. In fact, people are actually surprised when you do something good. Anyway, those are my thoughts for today. I know I'm rambling. I'm tired. Uh, I've had a long week and long week. So, uh, a good week, but a long week. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. This is Dumak the Artist signing off. Sign Trini Falcha. Have a nice day and talk like a pirate today. Bye. <laughs>